Okay. We're in uh, Tech Math 2, Red Book, page 411, this is 9.7. Um, we're taking a look at the arc sine, arc sine, arc cosine, arc tangent. And so we've done this already in Tech Math 1. We talked about that a little bit. And so they don't even want us to use their calculators on any of these. They just want us to rewrite them using the, the arc sine or the arc tangent in this case. So we're looking at 53 and 56 and 62, red book, 9.7. All right, so the sine of 17 degrees is equal to 0.2924. So somebody ticked that into their calculator already, and that's where they clicked out. What if I was given not the angle, but I just was given this and the fact that it was using sine? I could say arc sine of 0.2924, and that would equal 17 degrees. So if I tick that into my calculator, there's not an arc sine button. One of the versions a long time ago did have, it said arc sine, um, but the calculator, your calculator will have that as sine negative one. And when we get to 62, we're going to look at that as an as a alternate to arc sine. All right? Uh, so this one is going to be arc sine of 0 0.9903. And if you did tick that in your calculator and hit enter, it would be right around 82 degrees. It's unlikely it's exactly 82 degrees, but probably pretty close. And now here they went all abstract on us, so just use theta and B. So we're going to say, okay, uh, the arc sine of B, like the answer, is going to equal whatever the angle is, theta. Okie dokie. So on this one, uh, what do they want me to do? Find T. Oh, they gave us. So in this one, I didn't write down the whole problem. Uh-oh. Whoopsie. Oh, no. 81 degrees is equal to the arc sine of T. So what does that mean? That means... If I take the sine of 81 degrees, that's going to equal T, whatever that would be, like just the decimals, like that one. And then if I said, well, what's T equal to? Um, well, I think that's just going to be, oh, they actually want me to find the sine of 81 degrees. So yay, we actually get to use our calculator. So you put in the sine of um, 81 degrees, and that is 0.9877. Seven. All right. This last one again. They they did the tangent of fifteen degrees is approximately point two six seven nine. So they want me to write that as an arc tangent. So we're going to say the arc tangent of that decimal point two six seven nine will equal fifteen degrees. So if you put that in your calculator. The arc tan of this, it should kick out 15 or close to it. Um, you don't have an arc tan button. What you do have is a second and tangent, and it'll put this on the readout. It'll say tan negative 1, and that's actually the arc tangent. Again, if you had me for Tech Math 1, we really stressed saying arc tangent, arc sine, arc cosine all the time, um, and not inverse. Because uh, now you know, because of the earlier sections, inverses are the cotangent, the cosecant, and for cosine, it's secant. Those are the inverse functions. And so that's why we, we don't say inverse for this. We say arc tan. Okie dokie. So let's take a look at 9.8. We're just going to do oh, just one problem in 9.8. Let me... Oops, I always forget. It's over here. All right, so we're going to look at 9.8. Get rid of this stuff. And 9.8, 416. 
when I was a kid, I thought it would be really cool to have a robot assistant, and I never thought this would be as close as I got to a robot assistant. All right, so we're looking at 416. Um, number 65, we've got the theta is equal to tangent, arc tangent of x over r. And then we also have, um, so it says find theta when, oh, they just, it's just plug and chug. Okay, so this is just plug and chug. They just say, hey, x is equal to 2.595, r is equal to 1 point, is it 1 point or 1,000? Oh, neither one of those are decimal points. It's 2,500. 95 and R is 1,180, oops. And so then we were gonna take, in our calculator, second tangent, that'll kick out arc tangent, and then the parentheses, and then do the 25, 95, do the divided by sign, 1180, and paren, hit enter, and that should, Kick out, let's see, what do they want? Round to the nearest whole number degree. So we'll round that to 66 degrees. And then for the second part, they want alpha is equal to the arc sine of x over z. But again, we're going to put it in our calculator as second sine, that'll be negative 1. And then they told us x was equal to 247, and z is equal to 289. So 247 divided by 289, end parenthesis, hit enter, and you should get 59 degrees. If you are not getting 59 degrees, there's a chance that your calculator is in radians instead of degrees, and um, switch it up. Okie dokie. So that was 9.8. On to the next one.